We're really excited about this edition of Digital Futures because we're talking all things connected cars. The number of vehicles with built-in connectivity is set to shoot up from 10% of the overall market as it stands today to 90% by 2020. In the future, cars will be able to detect other vehicles around them and coordinate their braking and acceleration, sync up with traffic lights, and they'll become your own virtual environment with intelligent automation. Not only that, they'll generate real-time data on performance or send auto alerts to SOS services when you break down, making roads safer. We could also see new dynamic emerge between manufacturer, dealer and customer. And this may mean that new business models will need to be created. And we'll see changes in how we as consumers will pay for these new services to avoid the hassle of yet another monthly subscription. Then there's the exciting area of apps. They're expected to be part of the ecosystem and already some auto companies have launched their own app stores. The industry will also need to work out the exact relationship between mobile operators and car manufacturers when it comes to offering global connectivity, end-to-end -end services and data pricing. We wanted to hear firsthand from the industry, so over to our experts. Rent a car is an interesting space. Uh, it's a great space and it's the frontier right now for the OEMs. People aren't used to the, the, this concept of the, of the connected vehicle and having these, the, the, these services available to them. So there's a certain amount of education that needs to, to be done. I think in terms of the services and customer uptake, the, the big issue has always been awareness. Really making sure that they understand the features, making sure that the features are, are usable and simple to use. And I think if you want there to be a, a high uptake, it's always got to be there, it's always got to work, and it's always got to work simply and first time. The enabler for using this technology is, is value and uh, the main barrier is, is value, again. And it's customers realizing, is this really something I want? I want to use in the car or willing to pay for it? So there's an established models around uh, satellite navigation and a few other services, but for many of these things, there is no established model for how you charge for, for mobile broadband connectivity in, in, in a vehicle. I think the worst thing for a connected car for a user to manage is uh, having a relationship with a connected car and then a relationship with a connected phone and then a relationship with a connected tablet and then another relationship with your connected home. So I, I think the telcos play a, a very key role in making sure there's a seamless um, contract, a seamless data connectivity and the ability to have that data in multiple devices in multiple locations. Uh, I believe the uh, telcos have a huge opportunity to participate and because they own the pipe. I mean, every connection is owned by the telco. There are a lot of ways in which the automotive industry can learn from mobile operators in terms of uh, monetizing the sale of content, in terms of building term relationships with customers and, and, and selling services rather than selling products. Um, you see the diversity in the, in the app environment on smartphones, it's enormous. I think for the vehicle it'll, it'll, be, it'll be a little bit the same, it'll be, it'll be the killer experience. It'll be the, the situation where your car knows of an issue and a problem, it forewarns the dealer of the problem in the vehicle, schedules your service for you, make sure the service runs smoothly and efficiently because of data gathered ahead of the event that makes the whole ownership experience a, a positive experience. Will it be like iTunes, where you can access a whole, a whole raft of different content, or will it be more selective and more, more, uh, more closely guarded by the, by the auto OEMs? That's another big, uh, big, big question for, uh, for, for the market. I, I think often people are looking for what's the, what's the one answer around um, connected services. I'm not sure I entirely agree with that. I think it will be a, a complete connected experience that will really drive people into the connected vehicle. It's quite clear to us that the future of our cars lies in connectivity. Yeah, and all these incredible features will have a huge impact on our driving experience. I can't wait. This has been Digital Futures. Thank you for watching.